Okay, welcome back to the topic, the weekly uh, topical update show where we're talking about what's hot and what's not in Thailand. Now we're going to head into our second set of topics, starting with Don Mung Airport. Is it a go or is it not a go? As you may remember, last year Don Mung Airport was hit by one of the worst floods ever in Thai history, which forced the closure of the airport and forced the airlines out of there into Suwanapum International Airport. Now they're back. Is it a good thing or not? What do you think, Adrian? Well, I've been to a few countries and I, 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 don't know, I haven't seen really a country that has two airports so far away from each other mm -hmm. that is not separated between international or domestic, you get what I mean? So you have international, term, uh, international airport and a domestic airport that's separated. Right. But here we are separating budget airline and non-budget airlines. Okay. These budget airlines are also flying international flights. They're also flying domestic flights. It's very confusing. You get this now, now on, now off kind of situation. Sometimes. You know, it, it was operating, it closed, it operating again. Well, not care the public get confused. Not care have moved back to Don Mung, so That's it's right. very much but on. Not Air doesn't right? go international, not Air is domestic. No, no, so no, I'm saying, no yeah, but not care is back, so it's very much on as a domestic, All domestic right. destination. Most of the airport. major countries, yeah. I don't know. Most major cities Most do major have at least two airports. airports. That's right. Look at, look at London, they have Heathrow, they have yeah. Gatwick, they have Stansted, Japan they have, just has they have two. London City Airport. That's four. Are they very far away from each other? It's not the thing. They're further away from each other than Don Mung and Suan yeah. for sure. But, uh, the point but is what's the reason for Don Mung being operational again? What's the real reason? Why wouldn't you why, want operational? Why didn't they just build a bigger terminal or well, better, what, what, better what facilities okay, so or the third what, runway at least? What happens if there's a really big flood, God forbid, and Suwanapum Airport gets knocked out by the flood. Where are the planes going to go if we don't have Don Mung Airport? In, in reality, well, Thailand, Utapau. Has, Thailand has three potential. Utapau. <laughs> Thailand has three airports, right? You have Utapau, you have yeah. Donmung, you have yeah. Suanapum. Bangkok has three airports. Yeah, I think, I think, I think, I think you know, how reopening of Donmung to the low cost budget carrier is a good idea because, as you can see, the congestion to Suanapum now. I mean, oh, planes sure, have sure. to wait it's in the de tarmac. De definitely, yeah. Planes have to wait on the tarmac before they land, you know. Thailand is a tourism country, mm -hmm. right? I don't see the problem of providing another access point for people to fly in and out. And, you know, again, on this one, we're not forcing people to come. Air Asia, um, Tony Fernandez's airline, um, Nok Air, um, One Two Go, they've all decided. They requested this. They want this to happen. Sure. So again, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not an airline expert, but if a company like Air Asia, who does fly international in and out, wants Don Mung Airport because they're going to save a tremendous amount of money just on fuel charges. Air travel charges. should be yeah. partly about convenience. Don Mung is a very, very convenient. I live 10 minutes from there. I live, I live 20 minutes from there. I mean, yeah. I live in Saturn. It takes me 20 minutes. Yeah. To I'm, I'm not going to go to Don Mung. It's too yeah. far. It's 50 kilometers from where I live. But, I'm closer again, to Suwanapum. You, you can fly Thai Smile out of, out of Suwanapum. Probably. Yeah. Right? You can, I mean, it just gives you more choices. I don't I'm think a big, I've always been a big fan of Don Mung. I like it. I like its convenience. I like the layout. I like that you can get there. You can get in and out from, from check-in right. at Nok Air to onto your plane within 15 minutes. That's right. and, and, no so messing around, actually, no, no walking you, for you, half You like kilometer. the terminal, you like how fast you get to the airport. Yeah. So was Suwanapum designed wrongly? Was Suwanapum no. not better managed? Was Suwanapum, was this problem created by men? If you're asking again? me the question, then I would say that Suwanapum, it's a great airport, it's a huge airport, but the usability level is very, very low. That's right. As, I, as, agree. As, I agree yeah. on that one. You have the I think just the, too I, far I think the situation is very simple. Thailand attracts a lot of tourists. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Suwanapum is going to expand. They're expanding another runway now. They're expanding another terminal. Low budget carriers are more point to point, okay? Mm. And most of the air, Thai Air Asia fly within our country, okay? Obviously, they go out, they go out to uh, Cambodia, Singapore. they go to Singapore. But you know, low budget carriers, they don't want to bother with Suwanapum, even if Suwanapum was good, for a simple reason. They want to be able to land, take off, land, take off, land, take off. They don't want to wait on the runway, waste fuel, waste their, their, their customers' time. You know, I, again, it showcases, you know, I think the right decision was made. And the other thing is, it improves the lives of the people around the Don Mung area. After a massive flood, mm -hmm. this brings the economy of that area back. So on this one, I give, I, I, I give a thumbs up. Okay, let's hope the AOT can actually manage two airports full time properly. <laughs> well, I think you're going to have I mean, double the problem. They've been doing you know? it I, mean, I would, like, I would no, like to give you the gonna, last word on this. But gonna I, mean, have, I think they managed you, Don Mung very, double, very well. You're going to have double the problems. They managed Don Mung well when it was only operated by Nok Air and Want to Go. Now you're going to have a lot more flights at Don Mung right now. I think, oh, considering that Don Mung in used parallel, to be an in international parallel. airport. I think they can They're in they parallel have the with, with there. a Suwanapum. Do they have enough people to manage those two airports They'll well? Put the people there. Adrian, yeah. first flight of Thai Air Asia, you and me, we're going somewhere. How about we test that out? Last word, Adrian. 
Let's we'll test let it out. It. Let's test it out. <laughs> okay. It's not proven. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not convinced. Okay. Don Meng is a go, all right, ladies and gentlemen. Now, topic number six, the A, E, C. Is that like a new basketball the league? A, E, C. New basketball league? A, Asian. It's, it's, the, Asian, Anyone? it's Anyone? the ASEAN, Asian, Asian economic community. Modeled after the EEC, if you Whoops. The EEC. EEC? <laughs> yeah, modeled EEC. after the EEC. Okay. Previously called the EEC, now just the EEC. Okay. It was a European economic community, and now you have an ASEAN economic community. I think the intentions for AAC were to try to reduce the challenges for businesses to operate <laughs> around the 10 number <laughs> countries. What? Right. What are you saying? <laughs> when is it supposed to take place? Can somebody give me a date? Yeah. In two years. Two or years. Two years. In two, Why? two zero Why? one five. Why have it now? Two zero one five. I I I travel in, I travel in ASEAN without a, a visa I, anywhere. I, I think the problem it's not about the visa issues. Are we gonna have like a, a, a common common is this, is this free common is this, monetary this, what, free, free, trade? Trade? free trade free trade? Don't we have so free reduce, trade already? Don't reduce we like... uh, import duties yeah. between countries. So you know. How you am I gonna benefit? What am I gonna get cheaper? You could get cheaper cars. What cars? From Indonesia, and from Malaysia. From so, wait, wait, so is, is, is this going to help Thailand or hurt Thailand? Hmm. Am I going to get a cheaper Good proton? Question. Yeah, you huh? could get a cheaper proton. Well, okay, is this going to help or hurt Thailand? I have no idea. I'm, I'm not sure either, but it's going to help or it's going to hurt Thailand. You know, but, but you know, we have well, to. What is AEC? Okay, Asian Economic. ASEAN Economic. ASEAN. Community. So we have ASEAN, right? Right. Ten yeah, countries. Doesn't that do the same? Is this like Name a double the ten up? ASEAN countries. Thailand. Uh huh. Thailand? Uh, Vietnam, <laughs> Laos, <laughs> Cambodia, Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia. There's another one out there, Philippines. How many we got? Burma. Brunei. Brunei. Does Brunei. she know it? She knows. She knows. Is it Brunei? What is it? Brunei. Brunei? Okay. Is it? Are you on TV now? <laughs> Myanmar. Myanmar? Myanmar, Myanmar. Myanmar. That's Burma. Are they allowed in it? Well, you're, you're, yeah, they are. Yeah. They are. I don't know. Myanmar Ma 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 is ahead of ASEAN right now. Is it? It is. Oh my god. <laughs> Things have changed. <laughs> Things Who have changed. I? Who am I? <laughs> Look, so I think AAC, I'm, good no. or bad? I my, my, my concern is this. Yeah. Obviously, the AEC is going to bring more competition. Okay. To to our shores. Yes. You know, as as people can do businesses, you know, tariff free, as things become smoother for people to travel around, and certainly, Bur you know, Myanmar is right next door, and they're preparing for this. I just hope that Thailand is ready to take on the leadership of the AEC. Because at some juncture, some country has to be the leader. Much like German is the leader of the EU, right? I hope that Thailand well, plays that role. We're going to take it in turns, right? Well, no, my no, leadership no, meaning everything. That's, 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 no, 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 not on the council, no. but really be the country right. that benefits the most from the AEC. Whether it's through trade, through travel, through, you know, so it's a competitive issue then. It has a lot of good like things. It has a lot of good things. What are the good things? It, it means that professionals from Thailand can now actually work in any of these uh, 10 countries easier. That's good. You can actually, you, if you're an architect and you're a damn good architect, you could be opening shop in Indonesia. Is it hard to do that now? I think, I think it is. I think it is. I don't think you can industries. go work in Myanmar and there's going to be a lot of jobs opening up there with that growth in the they, country. They're not opening the floodgates for everyone to come yeah. in. They're opening it for professionals first. You know, you have to be properly certified and so on and so forth. So, okay. they're good things. Maybe we'll see more Thai professionals uh, exporting their talents. Jay, you become a host of an AEC show in Brunei. Yeah, yeah anything's possible. If I can do this, yeah. <laughs> I'm still here next week. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. Number seven. Burma. See? Where are they? It's Myanmar now, by the way. Myanmar. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I apologize. Myanmar. Aung San Suu Kyi would not like you for that. Myanmar have recently been through this, their version of the Arab Spring. Totally opened up. Taken many people from Myanmar by surprise themselves. Yes. Government are now approachable. The US are very interested. The, the EU are very interested. We're very interested. So uh, how, how are we going to make the best of this situation as Thailand? How's Thailand going to do it? Adrian? Adrian? Thailand has always been dependent on Myanmar for a lot of things. And some people say that perhaps in making use of the resources available in Myanmar, like oil, fuel, telecommunication rights, whatever, or even people, they are managing their stuff much better. So I think we have to have a look at uh, them uh, on an equal footing. Rather okay, than so one historically there's always been a bit of a them and us issue with, between Myanmar and Thailand and the yeah, other way around. You know, I'm on, and I'm, Thailand and Myanmar. I'm going to okay, go Tom. with... Uh, do you think? Do you think that Myanmar, now that they're opening up, they're becoming they're, they're becoming acceptable to the international community? Do you think they're going to think to themselves? The administration over there might say, 
Damn you, Thailand. We don't need you anymore. No, we don't need, need your investment. Need we don't need your expertise. I, I'm, I'm going to go with the great Aung San Suu Kyi on this uh -huh. one in her speech here in Thailand, which she said, I think we have to be cautiously optimistic. Right. right? I think people, as in anything, a, a beautiful woman shows up at the ball and everybody immediately wants to run and dance with her. You know, I think this one, we have to make sure that she knows how to dance. She knows all the proper etiquette. It's going to be a while. I think this You're is... talking about Myanmar, not on Sun Tzu Chi. Absolutely, Myanmar. Dancing and etiquette. I, I agree, I agree, <laughs> yeah, I agree. Okay. I think on this one, Thailand has a great opportunity, yeah. right, to be the staging point for anyone who wants to do business in Myanmar. Mm -hmm. I think, as Adrian pointed out with the AEC, they're going to need a lot of human resources. I mean, they're going to have a lot of the skilled labor. They're going to need a lot of technology transfer. I think Thailand has to treat Myanmar as an equal. That's right. I think we need to bring them on board, treat them as someone who we want to work with, and not, as you said at the beginning, exploit them. Hmm. Right? I think Myanmar is ready to play ball with us. I think if we do, if we, if we do things right, Thailand will be the staging point well, for know, many, many the gateway, yeah. point, the gateway to Myanmar. Yeah. Myanmar might, might not be so interested in us being the staging point. They I don't might, think they, they have might, a choice. They I don't might, think they, they have a choice. Another country. I don't think they have China? a choice. I don't think they have a choice. India? We're neighbors. Yeah. At the end of the day, my neighbor, you know, who I've been living with for what, the last 15 years, right? Has my neighbor and my own, has to put up with me. We like each other, we understand each other. All of a sudden, a new guy moves into the block, you know, I think he's gonna trust us. But again, he comes back. I have to understand that my neighbor now is no longer the weak, you know, partner that I may have had. And we have to understand that Myanmar has well awakened. And I think if we treat the people of Myanmar with respect, we treat their government with respect. I think things will be okay. It's got a great opportunity for Thai companies to do business there, not exploit, do business. Have you been we can to Myanmar? supply. No, I haven't. I have a couple of Burmese friends. Mm -hmm. But yes, there are a lot of things that we can actually provide them with in terms of uh, technology help, you know, help uh, in terms of operating of the port, for instance, the mm -hmm. deep water port in that way, and supplying a lot of our produce, yeah. soft drinks. But it goes Instant back to, noodles. And it goes back to your original. And I think we have to take the word exploited out because we can't make those people feel that way. And I think that if we can really show the people of Myanmar, their government, that you know we're here to support, we want them to grow. As they grow, we should grow. And I think if, if, if that's the case, then... Was Thailand I, I, Aung San Suu Kyi's first country? It was first, yeah. Should, so we be, should, some should Thailand be worried about Myanmar? It should. It should. It should. Six, what is it, 66 million people, it 80 should. million people, right? It should. If, if all the people invest and build factories there and things are going to be produced in Myanmar, it's going to be taking stuff away from Thai factories and Thai labor. But you, so can, look, you can look at Myanmar as Vietnam to China. Um, you can look at Myanmar as Cambodia to China. You know, we can be the China for this country where we're moving our labor force or things that we want to do into them, right? Mm -hmm. I think, you know, Vietnam benefits from a bigger China. Cambodia benefits from a bigger I mean, China. Why can't we're Myanmar moving, move our labor force into Myanmar? No, no, it's, it's I mean, not do, about. I mean, do we have? Do we, we still have, to, have the labor force? Because, we have to upgrade because our. Because in my experience, we're using a lot of um, my, you know, people from Myanmar as laborers here, as factory workers here, because the Thai people are not willing to do that work, or they've moved on. They've progressed from those kind of jobs. No, again, on this so what, one. So where's the opportunity? I think it for gives us? our. It gives us an opportunity to climb up the, the the ladder of business. You know. It showcases we can't do business the same now. We have a nice friend in Myanmar yeah. who is willing to help us grow if we help them grow. Mm -hmm. So it's a matter of just think partnering up, just like China helps Vietnam yeah. grow, Vietnam helps China the, grow. The opportunities are there. Perhaps even a TV station could be in there the world. There you works. go. Yeah, sure. Okay. You know, so perhaps we should start learning. It. Okay, guys. Please. Thank you very much. That's uh, Myanmar. That's the uh, AEC, and that's uh, Donmong Airport. Years ago, we're going to take a short break, and we're going to be back with our final three topics. Stay tuned. They can never break your pride.